Now then, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ask Batman. As you can see, there's some change. I got a new outfit. I'm very, very pleased with it. As it still has some work to do, like this cape, I'm not really feeling it. I'm gonna get a new cape and maybe new gauntlets or anything like that. But this is a new mask. I love it. It's made by Reese FX. Go check him out. Warning, you have to be extremely, extremely patient for you to get one of his masks. Not just that, you know, it, it, it's very expensive too, so I will be cautious and really think about it before you get it. But if you want to, like, look professional with, like, these cows or whatever you want, I highly recommend you go to Reese FX because this guy is awesome. So, as I always say in every episode of Ask Fat Man, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a random website that has a bunch of random weird f***ed up questions, and I'm going to answer it for you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. And as well as some questions that you guys suggested, but I have a lot of good ones this time. So, with that being said, let us go on to episode 6 of Ask Batman. What did you dream about last night? Well, see the thing is, when you dream, you forget like 90% of it. But, um, from what I can remember, I remember it being very wet. And, wait, no, that's not what I meant. I meant like, it was, there, was, there, there was water and rain and, there was a, yeah, forget it. Grab the nearest book to you, turn to page 18, and read line 4. It's not really a question, it's more of a challenge, but I accept your challenge! Uh, eh, this is kind of boring. I'm gonna read the spicy part. I love this man. I love his passion. The effect that I have on I love that he's flown so far to see me. I love that he cares about me. He cares. It's so unexpected. So fulfilling. He's mine, and I'm his. That's right, baby. As he breathes, I like how my orgasm ripping through me. My turn. What the f is this? F you, Fifty Shades of Grey. That's a movie now. Great. What type of music did you like the most? I'm not really much of a fan of this new age music. You know, Taylor Swift. Uh, I don't. I'm not much of a Drake fan. I don't care much for Bruno Mars. Yeah, he did one song that I like called Treasure. Uh, I'm more of a fan of punk. Um. Mostly punk rock, like Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace, uh, Skillet, um, you know, those kind of bands. I'm, I'm a big fan of Lincoln Park, you know, I'm a big fan of those. I also don't mind Black Veil Brides. I know a lot of people hate them, but probably for obvious reasons, but I don't mind them. I hate a lot of the names, but I think they're a, d a disgrace of music in the music industry. But I'm mostly a fan of, like, music from the 50s to the early 2000s. It just seems like when, 2000, when the 2010s happened, it all went downhill from there, and that's, that makes me very, very sad. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm mostly a fan of older style kind of music. Do you like to dance? Do I even have to answer this one? Are you a good cook? Welcome to a very unexpected uh, uh, episode of Cooking with Batman. A warning, don't try this at home if you don't know what you're doing. I don't, so this will be bad. Today we're going to cook yellow popcorn. Fire since you're ready. <laughs> Just in case the bag goes wrong. Uh, doesn't need, you don't need to have a certain brand. Just make sure you get one. Well, a small one, so a small bowl. Pot. Frying pan, whatever you call it. Olive oil. That's what we're gonna use. That's good enough. That's good enough. Fuck it. My cooking show, I get to do whatever I want. Okay! 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 Alright! Okay! Stop popping! Stop popping! Obviously, a lot of popcorn. Uh, how the f am I gonna clean this up? It tastes more gross. Yes, come here. She's pick up the pieces. She wants to she smell it. She doesn't even like it. Here. She dropped it. Nope. Do you sing in a shower? I don't sing. 
I perform. Retire to. I don't really plan on retiring anytime soon. I mean, I don't see no Terry McGinnis showing up and taking over, but um, if I did, I would imagine myself being somewhere in. Actually, I wouldn't go anywhere. I would stay here in the city. I love this city. It's a great city. I take it back, but it's, it's, a, it's a decent city. Okay, this, this city is horrible, but maybe I can move to the Chicago area because Chicago is right around Gotham, so I can just go there. It's not that not as bad as, you know, Gotham, but you know, it has its moments, but the city is beautiful i love the buildings i love the, the people there i love and there's so much to do here it's just such a great looking city and i would probably buy a home there what is your best childhood memory when i had parents that was zero to 100 really quickly didn't it why are you such a f dick well i'm sorry that my parents were murdered in front of me when i was eight years old and then i Failed to save my one sidekick from getting beaten to death by the Joker. I'm trying to save his own mother. Oh, and I'm also sorry that one of my biggest movie, the biggest movie sequels, failed. Yo, f you. It's hard to be me. So of course I have every right to be a dick. I'm gonna take all my anger on you, E Prime. Oh, that's right. It's E Prime for Black TV. That piece of sh. A Batman Dreamcast. Who would you love to play Batman, the Joker, Riddler, Catwoman, Gordon, or Robin? I'm pretty satisfied with some of the casting so far, like, of course a lot of people knew what my feelings were about Ben Affleck being Batman, I didn't like it at first, but you know what, I'm rooting for the guy, I love the fact that Jared Leto is now playing the Joker, I, I think that's fantastic, but let's say if I was in charge of the DC Cinematic Universe that, um, that Zack Snyder's creating right now, I might have some different choices, I'm not saying that the two choices they have already are bad, but, um, well Ben Affleck's still odd, but, you know, Jared Leto's not bad at all, but, Honestly, that would not be my first choice, and I guess that's why that makes that whole Jared Little thing brilliant. Because I didn't, I, I didn't think of that. But here's our, here are who I would have played these characters. Batman? Who would play me? John Hamm from Mad Men. I think that he would be a great Batman. And not to say this, he wasn't a Ben Affleck movie. I'm sorry, he outacted ba uh, Ben Affleck. I thought he was a great actor. I think he's a great dude. I think he looks the part as me. So, yeah. Uh, John Hamm. For Joker? Probably uh, Willem Dafoe, because if you see some of these Photoshop images that people do of him looking like the Joker, I think they're absolutely outstanding, gorgeous looking, well not gorgeous looking, but uh, I think that he would be a pretty excellent Joker. Riddler's a tough one, he's a tough cookie. It's a mix between uh, Johnny Depp or Neil Patrick Harris, so those are the very typical, typical kind of choices, but you know what, they're, they're fantastic actors, and again, Johnny Depp could, is a great actor, he needs to pick better movies, and I think maybe a comic movie might be his, uh, his go-around. Catwoman? Mm. Emily Blunt. Hands down, Emily Blunt. And I hope that they pick her uh, for the DC Cinematic Universe, if they ever put her in it, which I hope they do. Gordon? It's a mix between Tom Selleck and Brian Cranston. I think I'm mostly leaning to Brian, Brian Cranston because he's a f fantastic actor. Duh! And Robin. Mm. I actually want to cast Robin. I want to cast Nightwing. I might have J J Joseph Gordon-Levitt play Nightwing because I think he's an incredible actor and he was really good in The Dark Knight Rises, so I think it would be a pretty cool Nightwing to see in the big screen. What do you think of Rajo Gold choosing Alfred Queen to be the next head of the demon instead of you? I don't know! That's really weird! Like, they're basically making Arrow me! They made it! Stephen Amell just said, Big Batman works! Well, that, that, that's dumb! That's dumb! Prove that fact, Ron! Sure, of course I work, I'm, I'm amazing. But you're amazing too! You're the green freaking Arrow! Prove that you don't need to be a dark character, even though you, with the way the show's going, you kind of have to be angry, but... Come on, you're Green Arrow, you're funny! And again, we all know what happened the last time I tried to question Arrow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not letting that go. I'm not letting that go. Why are you always beating up, Robin? Well, I broke my last punching bag, so... 
kind of uh, need a replacement, so Robin was a good sport about it. He didn't even ask me. SHUT UP, ROBIN! Why are you even back for the dead to begin with? God damn it. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm Batman. Anything new and exciting things that you would like to share right now? Yes! I'm going to season 2 again! Booyah! I mean, I'm gonna be alone this year, which is, yeah, it's kind of it, but you know what? I mean, it'll be great, because I don't have to deal with anyone's, like, delay time and getting here on time and all the shit and this and that and then that. I'm gonna go to C2E2, and, uh, I'm, I'm quite excited. It seems like it's gonna be a fun C2E2. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna be going on, so the gonna be there, and I love C2E2. It's a great convention. However, in October, I'm going to New York Comic Con. Bam! Bam! I just said it! So those are quite excited. I'm very excited to go to New York Comic Con and C2E2 once more. I... I'm pretty excited about it, let's say that. If you could have any job besides being a crime fighter, what would it be? A movie producer. Besides crime fighting, I actually have a passion for movies. I love movies. I love everything about behind the scenes. I love everything about the camera work. I love everything about story and acting and everything like that. Even if movies suck, I still love the story behind the behind the scenes. You know, and I think that being part of that would sound amazing. So, it would be great if I did a movie about crime fighting. Ooh. Crime fighting movie written by Batman. Someone get me Steve Rastelberg! What is your favorite moment in Batman comic books and in movies? I know you only asked for two things, but I'm gonna add three things. One of them is cartoon, because the cartoon was a pretty epic moment. But let's start off with comic books first. Probably have to be more from Injustice Year One. Now this is kind of a cheating here because it's not really me, but it was my idea. And it's actually Martian Manhunter shaped as me, so it kind of works. It's a moment where the Flash is trying to apprehend me, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I just fly away, and just leave the Flash shell shot. I love the face that he makes. I think that's just such an epic, epic moment. Uh, favorite movie moment would probably have to be in the end of Dark Knight Rises, where I fly the bomb out to uh, the bay, and then the explosion, knowing that everyone's saying it, and Mr. Gordon's reading it, and, and uh, it's just such an emotional but really powerful scene and I think that was a great way to end the, the uh, the trilogy. Now we have a cartoon moment, which is what you did in add, but I'm gonna add it anyway because I'm Batman. Probably have to be a moment in the Justice League Unlimited cartoons. I think some of you know I'm going with this. Ace! The moment where I'm with Ace, trying to comfort her in her last moments of life. That right there was so emotional, but it was so powerful! And that is why people love me. Bruce Tim. Love your job? No! Hate it! But someone's gotta do it, so. Legalize marijuana. Yes or yes? I'm about to go with door number two. And the last question of the day What does your bed smell like? It kinda smells like your mom. <laughs> for watching this episode of Ask Batman. If you have a question you would like to ask me, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. If I didn't answer it, call me out or I'll answer it in the next episode. So that is all. Thank you, everybody. I'm Batman, signing off. I feel like my boobs are more showable in this. Think so. Eyes up here. I know I was asking, but eyes up here. No, get it. I am Batman. I am Batman. I am Batman. I'm Batman. That's good. That's good.